One of the most common things I see in comments on Facebook groups for Affinity Photo um, from people who are moving over from Photoshop or Elements is where's the transform tool? How do you transform things, warp things and you know, sort of comments like that. So this is really just a, a quick look at the differences between Affinity Photo and I don't have Photoshop, so I've only got Elements, but it will work the same way. Um, I have Elements 14, which I know is a bit out of date now. It's, it's now 18, I believe. But I can't believe the Move Tool functions and what have you have altered greatly from version 14 to 18, so it shouldn't be a major problem. So I've set up both programs to have a white A4 layer background and two versions of the same image. One I'm going to leave in position and one I'm going to be moving. Um, just so we can see the differences between the two programs. And like I said, hopefully the Photoshop will be pretty much the same as elements in the way it moves things and warps things. Um, if it isn't, I'm sorry, but it, as far as I can tell from videos I've seen, they do work the same way. Right, so people who are moving from Photoshop's and or Elements, the Move tool, which is this one up here, from here you can obviously move the object about. If you come to the corners, you can resize from the bottom here. You should be able to rotate pretty much all standard things. And you just, if you don't want to make a movement, you can just click on the red circle with a line going through it. And if you want to keep the changes, you can click on the green tick. Let me put that back where it was. Um, so let me just have a quick look at the move tool in Affinity Photo. And let's make sure I'm on the right layer. So again, you can, it's pretty much the same. You can move it around. You can rotate it from the little lever at the top there. And you can resize. Um, by coming to the corners or from the edges or what have you. And press Ctrl and Z to put that back where it was. Now, when it comes to resizing from the corners, um, and not so much the edge, uh, the centre edges, but from the corners, um, I'm not, it's been a long time since I use elements, but I if I remember correctly, if you hold down the Ctrl key, um, no, I think it's the shift key in Elements. You hold down the shift key and click in, it will allow you to sort of resize, but there's no sort of keeping the proportions the same. So, and if you hold down the control key, let's come to this corner. The cursor, which was black, will turn white, and when it's like this, you can just distort the image by um, moving that particular corner, and then you can go to another corner and warp the image in that way. So from the move tool you can sort of do a, li a little bit of warping and move in and resizing. Now one also when you're on the move tool you have options down here to allow you to align and distribute. 
Now at the moment I've deliberately got this one off center and I want to center it. Now the the layer is highlighted and if I wanted a line of center it won't let me do anything. It's sort of all grayed out. What I have to do is hold down the control key and highlight the background as well and now these are no longer grayed out and I can center put it in the middle but you do have to have both layers highlighted to do that now if I come to back to affinity photo now running along the bottom edge here it gives you some instructions for extra keys that you can hold down and what they do so if I come over to a corner as you can see that's now changed it says drag to resize hold down the shift key to ignore the aspect ratio the control key to resize around the center and if you hold down the left and right mouse button at the same time you can resize and rotate at the same time if you hold down the alt key when you click you can ignore snapping um, holding the left key and right key at the same time can be a little bit tricky to get right let me see if I can get this try this that's it so I can rotate and resize at the same time from the opposite corner from where I started from just press control and Z to undo that now when it comes to aligning you can do this from the button up here where you can then pick to go center vertically or horizontally if I want to center this horizontally I just need to click that and I don't have to highlight more than one layer it just moves the layer that I have highlighted to fit the center of the document right so the only thing you can't do from the move tool in Affinity Photo is like the warping effect. Um, you need to do that from this option down here where you have the mesh warp tool and the perspective tool. And it is a perspective tool that you want. I'll just put this grid over the image. And then you can just click on a corner and warp it to however you want it to be so I'll click cancel on that one so if I come back to elements and this is where the you can use the transform tool in elements of Photoshop um, you can do that get to that but just by pressing the control and T and this is pretty much works in the same way as like when you was on the move tool in the sense that you can come to a corner and resize it you can hold down a control key and just warp it in certain directions and then just click the tick or double click inside the image to accept the changes so affinity photo does have the same tools as elements photoshop when it comes to transforming they're all just basically grouped in with the move tool which to a certain extent is the same in elements at least where you can do a lot of the same things from the move tool um, or you can just go to the transform tool so there's not a vast amount of difference they're just slightly in different places you just need to do most of your transforming via the move tool apart from warping which you need to do from the perspective tool and the aligning which is up here with the alignment button so all the elements 
are there pardon the pun on the word elements but all the elements from Photoshop are here in Affinity Photo the mess might be in slightly different places and they might be distributed around different menus but they are all basically there but most of it is done via the move tool and you don't have to click ticks uh, the tick to accept any changes you make you can make your changes and once you've made your change if you don't like it you can just press control and Z it's gonna let me do it and put it back to where it was before so hopefully that will answer some people's questions about where is the transform tool in affinity photo so thank you for watching and goodbye